Hi, everyone. We're broadcasting from Slim and Main Stadium, home of the Terra Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other team's fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The New Orleans Zombies battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? <laughs> Hello again, everybody. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. That's me. And his mutant hobbit head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. How about you shut the fuck up? Well played, Jr. Moving on. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40. A touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third and two. even a worse throw. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do? First and ten. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. And the defense was reading him like a book. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And no other said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. there maybe a yard second down and nine and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown well two years ago 
this guy was a buried rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing scoring machine. What a story. What a, what a wonderful story. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. <laughs> Second down and a lot. First and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down, and the punter is warming up. I won. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you, and the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. for this QB. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe up. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, <laughs> just exploded. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. Yeah. 
They're going for two. And they run it in for two points. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, man, Brooks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and long. Apocalypse, they would flag this kind of thing. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? why the world hates kickers. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for him. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down and six. target but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does third down and six and the ground game is starting to soften up the defense oh holy Montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle by that Montezuma Vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was at an all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico. For what? Cracked the pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down in a very lot. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you do.
didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and, well, good luck. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball's down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. <laughs> Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Third down and six. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoes. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me well you mistake the man you get up my grill i'm gonna ruin your world i'm gonna wreck it second down and a lot the offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection close your eyes bricks this is gonna get ugly fast <laughs> With that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First down and three. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 10. And that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown. What a great defensive play. Yeah, we 
Turner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. <laughs> Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suffer if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Hot, one, hot. Oh. Oh. And how about a little dirt sandwich? Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. QB would like. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. 
The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my own. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Eight. Nice pick up for six yards. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Third down and three. Hot. Hot one. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches the ball and hits a field. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Well, I hope the kicker ate his bleedies this morning. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again, Bricks. I'm stopping it right there. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. It's a close battle at the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up and have kickoff. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Now the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> one yard on that pass. Second down and nine. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough dick. Oh, he just got crushed. Jumbotron 
shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Hey. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and ten. Hey. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, man! You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> They're going for two points. Skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece. That's always cause for celebration. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Caught for the first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. First down. He was not going to drop that one. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref.
And it's first and ten. Hot, 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 hot two. Down in nine. Hot, hot one. Eight. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Could have made that kick. Isn't your wheelchair? I know, right? The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Stanley Jr., I'll wreck your world. Second down in a very lot. Great catch for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that is worse. Hot, hot one, hey. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Second down and ain't gonna happen. 
open, partner. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. You can't keep a good mutant down. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Wow. And it's first and ten. you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Yeah, that's a good point, Grim. There are no more receivers, so it's game over next time the offense takes the field. If the other team punts, that's the game, right, Grim? That's right, Bricks. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. I think you ought to be able to shoot a guy in the end zone doing a dance like that. For extra points, you know? Plus, it would speed the game up. Hey, good point. <laughs> and Terrabay Buneers give no quarter and decimate their opposition. They win at home by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambles tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every...